I'm sorry not to be with you in Crete for this important meeting, which brings together many of you involved with the decade of action for road safety. I've watched with interest as your global alliance has developed and gained pace. As the decade draws to a close, this diverse group of NGOs has come together with many experts from government, business and academe from all over the world to prepare for the big ministerial meeting next year in Stockholm. Since I initiated my Road Safety Awards 30 years ago, I've been impressed by the leadership shown by NGOs, which have been instrumental in generating a demand from the public for safer roads, achieving real change, often at a pace which governments can't match. But sadly, many of them are established in direct response to a personal tragedy. I know how important the Global Alliance has been in bringing together road accident victims groups with other NGOs that share a passionate dedication to road safety. Sadly, passion alone is not enough. This energy and commitment must be harnessed to effective, evidence-based policies. And that's why NGO meetings like this are so important to share experience and exchange best practice. Now, as we plan for global action in the decades to come, the role of NGOs has never been more important. In your first seven years, the Alliance has achieved so much, but as you all know, there's an awful lot more to do. I wish you success here in Crete and look forward to seeing NGOs at the forefront of the global road safety campaign.